All right, here we are in Torrey Pines on Santa Rosa Island, um, where we've just discovered some erosion going on. Not really knowing the cause of this, but it's, er it's eroding. We got some more erosion over there that we'll further uh, explore. All right, here we are further down the trail. We could see that millions of years of water running through this stream has created a beautiful, magnificent riparian area that feeds out to the ocean. All right, here we are further along Torrey Pines. Um, just look at the water, wow. But here you can see that there's dunes, coastal dunes, that protect the sand from being eroded by the waves. You can see in the area where there's no, there's no vegetation, erosion is a lot faster. And wherever you see the vegetation along the canal, the sand is still there. So we're on the Torrey Pines Trail on Santa Rosa Island. Santa Cruz is up there. Here you could see a non-native plant planted along here through through the era of when there was a lot of farmers. We're in the cloud forest currently as restoration efforts go in. It's very important to restore natural trees like this because their roots penetrate a lot deeper into the ground and it could help prevent erosion. Unlike this vegetation, very shallow roots. After they would burn out, they would just completely erode. So we're still on the trail. It has started raining, but as you could see, all of this land is being held in place by the vegetation. So erosion is not occurring. But over here, we have this magnificent structure. Well, I don't know if it was like a fire or something, but this area that has vegetation, this little chunk stayed with, the soil stayed, and the areas where it wasn't just got eroded. We're out here finishing the Torrey Pines Trail. Just wanted to bring to attention some erosion due to last year's storms probably. So if you can see, there's a fence right there. It's currently raining, so sorry if the quality is bad. And then the fence is also down there. This is a prime example of mother nature fighting with current development to over territory. All right, so here we have a prime example of the of the ocean reclaiming the coast. Now, if we had some coastal development up at the top, that would be in danger. And they would be inclined to put a, a seawall right there to protect their property. But as we know, that would destroy the beach. So this highlights a fundamental problem that we must face as sea level rise continues to happen.